Hello, my name's Michael and welcome to this week's Box Over TV. Here's what's coming up on the program. The Fraser's Group are wanting to reach out to local people to help make them the heart of their operation. The elderly community in Langworth and Worley Thorns had some Christmas cheer recently as they attended the parish's annual Christmas party. The council is investing £500,000 to refurbish the gym at its Go Active Leisure facility to continue providing its members with the best possible experience, equipment and technology on the market. And over 300 residents from Blackwell Parish have created a winter woodland for locals to enjoy. But first, last month we told you that as part of the council's drive to create community woodlands and grow one million trees in the district, a tree planting scheme was due to take place in Creswell. Well, that scheme has now started and the first of 1,000 tree whips has been planted on land at Fox Green. The trees have been donated by local building contractor Robert Woodhead Limited. And we went along to see the scheme get underway and speak to some of those involved. Uh, we all know about the climate change that's happening throughout the world. This is a, a small contribution towards that, but it's a very important one. And we feel that the trees that's going to be planted here, not just by uh, us here today, but by the school children and members of the community as part of the whole process. I believe that this will be the flagship for Bozova District now to show the way we have 16 parishes uh, within both of our district. We want to encourage them. This can happen in your area. Uh, we're really pleased that uh, the Bolsa District Council uh, have asked us to come on board with this, you know, because, uh, you know, it's, it's all about sort of people getting out, us getting out and sort of people knowing what we do, you know, because uh, as a project we're working with people learning disabilities, we've spent a lot of years working in this area and um, it'd be great to sort of get a bit more recognition for that. One of our big commitments at the minute is to work towards becoming a, a climate positive contractor. And one of the things we recognise is that things like this tree planting that we're seeing today and carbon offsetting is, is a small part of that. And we're wanting to do our bit to be able to support a key client, such as Bowles Over District Council, to be able to realise their aims and objectives around a similar sort of theme, around sustainability and addressing the climate change agenda. Now, working for big multinational chains can often seem like you're just a number, but that's not what Barker Ross, who act as the recruitment agency for the Fraser's Group, are all about. Representing huge brands such as USC, Games, Sports Direct, Flannels, Jack Wills and Sofa.com, they want to reach out to the local community and make them the heart of their operation. The Fraser's Group warehouse is based in Shirebrook and weighs in at an impressive 2.5 million square feet of space. That's around 30 football pitches and is one of the most advanced warehouses within the UK. They want to employ local people in a variety of roles from picking to web procession and they want to nurture this talent, helping people to progress in the company and beyond. This is something that Charlotte Jones, contract manager at Barker Ross, was really passionate about when I spoke to her. So my hope is, is to sort of reach out to the local community and get people from the community in the heart of our operation. In terms of the, you know, the positions and such that we've got available, they're, they're really widespread across the warehouse from sort of waste management up to operations, section leaders, anything you can think of essentially for any of the, the brands which fall under Fraser's group. I mean, we've done engagement surveys for, for the last couple of years and, and the facts from last year, I think it's about 75% of all candidates said that they'd made lifelong friends, they'd formed you know, really meaningful friendships with their colleagues and teams um, on site. From a management point of view, nearly all of the managers have, have come from internal progression. It's something that the business and Barker Ross are really passionate about. How would you sum up your, your first two months working for, for Barker Ross and, and what you've done here? Absolutely amazing. I've never worked for a business like Barker Ross before. It is a, it's a beast of an operation. It's absolutely amazing. You know, we've got some of the best automation in the world. Um, it's really, really industry leading. So it's an exciting team to be part of. And, and sort of now's the time to join and come be a part of my Barker Ross team. The Unite Battle Bus came to Shirebrook recently as they continued their campaign against universal credit cuts. 
They also visited the council offices in Clown to meet council leader Steve Fritchley and deputy leader Duncan McGregor to spread their message that a warm home and food are not luxuries. Elderly residents from Warley Thorns and Langworth attended the parish's annual Christmas meal recently. Held at Warley Thorns Village Hall, they enjoyed an afternoon of fun with music and a delicious meal prepared by local company, the Lemon Tree Cafe. Dozens of shoeboxes full of Christmas gifts have been donated from Shirebrook Academy thanks to the generosity of their pupils. The shoebox gifts have been collected by the BLAST organisation who will now combine them with donations they've received and will distribute them to families in need in the area. Now the gym at the Go Active Leisure Facility in Clown is currently undergoing a £500,000 refurbishment. Work started in early December and that saw old equipment being moved out. A new floor is now being laid and the new equipment will then be able to be moved in. The new gym will provide members and users of the gym with a number of new things, including brand new and better equipment to help keep fit and healthy and get the best out of your workouts. There's new flooring throughout and thicker rubber matting in the free weight area. Users will have access to alternative pieces of equipment, such as stair masters and bags for boxing too. There'll also be improved technology on the CV equipment and there'll be a brand new fitness and booking app called Track, which will enable members to track their fitness sessions and book group exercise classes too. The new gym is set to reopen at 8am on Monday the 27th of December. And finally, we've seen tiled mosaics, wooden sculptures and amazing artwork adorn the parish of Blackwell over the past 18 months. But the latest creative project is bringing a bit of festive cheer to the area. Perfect timing. Led by Greater Creative, the Winter Woodland Project has been described as a joyful rite of festivity for Blackwell Parish. It's brought together five artists and over 300 residents from across the parish that's seen the creation of a beautiful woodland installation for people to enjoy this Christmas. And to extend the project further, four additional family workshops and 50 home packs were made and distributed to local residents to make their own trees for their own windows at home. And we've slowly started to see a window woodland now appearing around the parish as well. We went along to Woburn House to take a look at the sculptures. Take us back to the beginning when you had this project potentially brought to you, you got involved in it, how did that come about and, and what did you want to achieve from it? So we, we had an initial meeting um, back in, I don't know, maybe June and um, we just sort of sketched out an idea of what we'd like to achieve and it was to build on from the previous year's success of the Winter Windows. So all the schools have been involved and and then we've had community workshops and we've had lots of people come and take part in those in the actual making of the trees but people have also made window packs for their own homes and um, have come to workshops to make window packs as well so we've had a really good turnout from the community. So these are either crocheted or knitted squares um, and some people have knitted dozens and dozens and some people one lady knitted one her first knitting that she's ever done which was lovely everyone is just so enthusiastic about the whole thing um, you can see cars slow down when they drive past and like Sally said when we were setting up people were waving and bipping the horns and dog walkers coming past were stopping and having a look so everyone's got really enthusiastic about the whole thing I mean I think it's just a wonderful display of you know communities community groups schools getting together to celebrate Christmas you know one of the greatest holidays of all all times I suppose Wow what a fantastic project and one that certainly brightens up the parish. That's all we've got time for, sadly, but please join me next week as we take a look at some of the highlights from 2021 and some of my less memorable moments. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.